What's going on guys? I'm Vincent Tapani here. Um, I just want to start by saying that I hope all you guys watching are doing well. I hope all your family members and friends that everyone's staying safe and that everyone's healthy. I'm here to kind of just to check in like I've been every couple weeks uh, with progress for what was supposed to be my return to the stage uh, for the New York Pro 2020, uh, which was scheduled for May 16th, now has been canceled and rescheduled for August 8th. So currently I would be about four and a half weeks away. Uh, that's no longer the case. I'm like 17 or 18 weeks away or something. Um, I guess initially, you know, all sorts of thoughts go through your head, but to give you an idea of where I'm at, overall, I'm actually happy um, to have the extra time. Uh, you know, coming off an injury, there are some things that I want to improve <laughs> my legs. Uh, you know, a lot of times people will ask me, hey, how do you think you stack up compared to, you know, previous showings? And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be one of those delusional people who, you know, every time out they're like, I'm at my best ever. I'm at my all time best. You know, I mean, some in some cases that's the case for people. A lot of times it's not. <laughs> Myself, Upper body wise, I'm probably right about there in terms of being right up there with the best I've been. I'd actually see improvement probably in my back and possibly in my chest as well. Legs, no, they're not as good as they've been in the past. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, talk myself into it. At least at this point, they are not. Um, they are getting better each week. Uh, you know, in the past, you know, when I went into preps and I was squatting five plates for 15 reps, my legs were really, really good. Uh, I'm not doing that at the moment, <laughs> and uh, my legs are not as good, but they are improving. Uh, you know, coming off an injury is tough, and it's been a while, but it, it's, it's crazy to say, but there's still freaking pain in my knee. Um, there's pain in both these at this point. <laughs> but, you know, you do have that kind of ever-present thing in the back of your mind where you're like, don't get hurt. Uh, you know, when I, when I blew out my knee and, you know, tore my quad tendon, I wasn't even in the gym. I didn't have, you know, 600 pounds on my back. I wasn't doing anything crazy. I was walking in my driveway and it slipped on a patch of ice. So it's a reminder of the fact that you're just one wrong, little wrong move away from taking yourself out of it for several months or, you know, a year or many years or maybe all together. So there is the realization that you have to be careful. You have to be able to... Uh, train in a way that leaves you able to fight another day, aka, you know, get to the next workout. Uh, it doesn't matter how hard you go, if you hurt yourself in the process and you can't train for several weeks, that workout doesn't do you any good. On the flip side, you know you have to train damn hard, you have to push yourself, there has to be overload, if you're going to make progress, uh, get, a, get any place at all. I am constantly trying to balance those two factors. From here, my plan, you know, I, I, I know some other guys, you know, prepping for either New York or shows around the same time, and I've seen some of them opt to kind of go, you know, catch a rebound now, and go back up into almost like an off season, you know, I've seen some of them put on like 20 pounds or so, that hasn't been my plan. I've, I've uh, continued to keep dieting, training, doing cardio, uh, all the same that I was. Little things, okay, a couple of days ago was Easter, right? So I had a couple meals. You know, if I was in, you know, if, if New York was four and a half weeks away, I might not have done that. Did it hurt me at all? No, it did not. Um, but I'd be lying if, you know, if I said that I still have that same fire having 18 weeks as <laughs> as it was when, you know, you're four, week, four and a half weeks away. Anyone who's ever prepped for a show will tell you, I mean, that, that lights a pretty serious fire because you know that in, you know, so many weeks you are gonna be on stage, essentially in your underwear, you can't hide anything. <laughs> the last thing you wanna do is get up there and embarrass yourself, at least me, that's the way I always felt. So, I've continued on track, getting harder each week. Um, and what I will probably do is that once I reach what I consider to be a really, really good condition, I'll probably begin adding food to my diet uh, in hopes of holding that weight. And what I anticipate happening is, you know, through feeding my body more, without gaining body fat, I'll be able to essentially get bigger and stronger at that same weight, if that makes any sense. Uh, you know, you, I, I've, I've weighed the same and looked totally different 
even at the same weight. So yes, that is possible. Um, so that, that's basically my plan. What I found myself doing in this prep, and I found myself doing this in every other prep uh, before this one is, well, with the exception of the first one, because I had nothing to compare it to, is, you know, you, you compare how this prep is going to prior, you know, contest preps. Um, you know, how am I feeling, you know, both mentally and physically? How am I stacking up at, you know, this many weeks out, so on and so forth? Um, you know, are my goals any different? Uh, you know, I've always tried to maintain the mindset uh, where, yes, I mean, look, I've won quite a few shows. As an amateur, uh, I've won everything with, exception, with the exception of taking runner-up one time. And I won my first two pro shows. So, you know, winning is great. And uh, look, winning is a, is a tremendous, tremendous feeling. <laughs> um, for me, the, the more I went on, uh, the less I began, I, the, the less I won, <laughs> because I was at a higher level against better guys. Uh, you know, for some guys, that's not the experience. You know, they're just maybe they're better bodybuilders than me, and they continue to win, win, win. Um, so I'd be lying. You know, I, I've won New York before. Would I love to go in there and win again? Hell yeah. Um, but I don't. You know, in the past, I haven't made it my primary focus. And currently, I don't make it my primary focus either. You know, I, I have a lot of support um, from a lot of you guys out there watching, and you know, you'll, you'll make comments. Oh, you know, you're gonna you're gonna crush it, or you know, you're gonna win it. I can't wait to see you win, things like that. And that's awesome. Um, you know, I appreciate all of that. And it means a lot to me that you think that highly of me. Um, but my focus always is, you know, my next meal. Um, my next rep, my next set, you know, one day at a time, and, you know, focusing on the things that I can control. I don't know who's going to show up there. I don't ultimately know exactly what I'm going to look like, you know, coming out of all this. So I try to focus on the things that I can control and try to do all of them correctly and precisely and perfectly and to the best of my ability, hoping that if I do all that, the end result will be good. Uh, would I like to win? Sure. More than anything, I just want to look good. I want to be happy with the way that I look. I want to uh, come out of this and say, you know, I was able to pull things back together and have a complete uh, and well-conditioned and well-balanced physique. Uh, and that's kind of always been my goal. So at that point, wherever the chips fall, they fall. You know, really, in summation, I've really tried to just continue on course, continuing this prep to get in shape and to be in shape sooner than later. Um, at which point, once I'm in really good condition, and I'm, I'm probably about five or 10 pounds away from that at the moment, I'm uh, about high 260s. So I think you know somewhere in the high 250s, low 260s, I'd be pretty much in that condition. At which point I'd like to, well, I've already kind of begun increasing food even though I'm still kind of coming down and getting in better shape just because uh, my body seems better better and better and better able to handle that um, so basically on the horizon is continue to get in better shape increase food and uh, staying lean and possibly getting continuing to get leaner and in doing so just feeding my body more and hopefully getting essentially bigger and stronger and better and harder and all those things and you know maybe this will end up being a really good learning experience because I've never uh, I've never done a prep this way. I've always just started it, say, you know, 16 weeks out and just saw it through to the end. So maybe this will be a valuable experience, but, um, you know, overall, it's, it's all good. I don't, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a matter of just getting older or I don't, I don't think it's about being a more experienced bodybuilder. I think it's just a matter of being older. Um, you know, unless you, you or someone close to you is going to die or you're losing the roof over your head, um, as long as everybody's healthy and there's a roof over your head and there's a few bucks in your bank account, there's nothing that really, uh, <laughs> you know, throws me, throws me too much for a loop. You know, uh, if I got to keep dieting for so many more weeks or whatever it is, so what? I mean, this is what we do, right? This is bodybuilding. So, no panic here. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned, you know, I'm going to be putting out some uh, some good nutrition stuff in the next month or two, uh, so stay, stay tuned for that, and um, really, again, just stay safe, and, uh, you know, I hope, I hope you guys out there, you know, both in, in terms of your health, uh, financially, 
I hope you're all, you know, making it through this, and I hope we all get through this, and um, you know, we get get back to our lives as normal. And I hope, uh, hopefully, we can be even better, you know, just as individuals and as a nation, to be honest. So that's about it for me. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.